Sunaina Elementary School. Come with us and let us discover science at Sunaina Elementary School. Good Ma, my Good name is Nahibel C. Pacquiao from Tagulwan Community Community College, and I am here as an interviewer to discuss your experiences and methods as a science teacher here at Solana Elementary School. So, may I have the permission to proceed with the interview, ma'am? Yes, you may. Thank you so much, ma'am. So, for my number one question, ma'am, is now, could you please share your name? I am teacher Janita Aminaw. Of Solana Elementary School. Okay, so, kailan nakakatuig nagtudlo dani sa elementary uh, sa Solana, ma'am? Sa Solana, uh, kuha na ko diri, 20, 24. 24 years na, ma'am? Adulthood, 27, man. 22 years diri, kay 5 years sa San Nicolas. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Kuhan public school, diya po na sa San Oo, Nicolas. first na ko nga uh, assignment dito. So, akong number two question, ma'am. Could you share a bit of your experiences and as, as a science? Could you share a bit about your experience and the science method you use in teaching science before technology advance? Nam, pwede niyo may share, ma'am, kung kuan ang unsay mong mga na experience as a science teacher before pa na before pa bitaw ang technology na evolved, ma'am, dami, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, as a science teacher, uh, you cannot face your student without any materials. Since in science, it requires manipulation. Mm -hmm. oh, so, kung wala kay i-present sa jabata, it is impossible for them to grasp the topic and also the objective that you want to impart to them. Then, it make sure kay as a teacher... Imo ginay siya yung itan out for me nga. Your lesson is enjoyable and at the same time, they participated it well. Mm. So, for my number three question, ma'am, what major cha changes have you witnessed in science education over your career? So far, uh, for the 27 years, the teaching method, the curriculum is still the same, although na siya yung mga strategy nga, I mean the topic nga gikuan siya, gimerge. Oh, especially if the topic is correlated. Oh, so, up to the teacher, kung saan sa niya ipagdil ana sa mga bata. Oh, dayon. Uh, so far, as a teacher, nakita sa na ko nga Siguro, dili sad pag-boast bitaw sa self. Mm -hmm. O, oh, out of 27 years, katulo na pod ko nga, na ako contestant sa division level. Wow. Oh. Di ba, Budan? O, oh, eh, appeal to? <clears throat> we in number four question na ta, ma'am. So, with your extensive experience, how do you keep the science curriculum engaging and relevant for students here? After year, I must involve my learners in terms of catering the lessons, and then, uh, as a teacher, I must see to it that the lesson I am imparting to them is uh, correlated with their daily activities or daily life experiences, mm -hmm. since. That particular topic is, uh, I guess they can uh, uh, gain something and then they can show it or do it to, it, to themselves. Uh, para sa ila, muning itulo ni teacher, I must be very careful in using this one. Kay munima. So, therefore, ang pag-teach na to sa science is, not merely more on theory, mm -hmm. kailangan gid siya nga, imo gid siya i-hands on sa ang mga bata, kay diha makita ni mo nga, tinuod gid di ay nga na ay imong nahatag sa ilang nga learning. Sakto baka na ang tubag, bagtay gid mo, inyo gid ko karong ipriso. So, for number five question, ma'am. So, knowing that you are very ex experienced in science, how did you adapt to teaching students with different learning styles? Okay. In a classroom, since we 
uh, cater differentiated learning capac uh, capacities or abilities of our learners. As teachers, we have to prepare activities uh, concerning their ability to uh, gather or to improve their learning. Oh, so therefore, a teacher should pa prepare activity for slow learner, mm -hmm. or oh, uh, average learner, and then the fast learner. Uh, not to the uh, not to the extent that we uh, imparted biases, but in dealing such activity, for example, for the slow learner, if they do it well, then it is an achievement to their part. And to the higher or the kana mga, mga, mga smart na thing, the more they quad ka nang discover since you give them an extra or beyond the activity given for that particular day. <clears throat> Okay, number six na tama. So, yes, in, your, <laughs> in your lesson plans, which teaching approach approaches such as 5 E's or 4 E's? So, did you incorporate for teaching science and why? Were these methods effective? Gagamit ka, ka ng mga, mga five, E's? Oh. Yes. Si, ka, sa karun, ma'am, dili ka gagamit og traditional yun, ma'am? Dili. Kwan, dili mo ha, ma'am? Yes. Nagin na siya si uh, uh, engaging si explore okay kailangan nat pagka end ay naging kay enrichment mm -hmm. kay ngano man disud kayo particularly kay namang gunay topic nga dili dali nila siya makuha so there is a need for uh, the learners or the teacher to enrich kay mas chada pag abot din sa morning or the next or the following day Ganan sila kay Cher. Nakuha na mo, Cher. Huwag something nga. Naan na din sila ikuan ba? Uh, advance idea nga. Unsa di ilang nakuha na dito. Oh. Kaya na may mong ipahimo sa ila. Mm. Mm. So, dili like, gudi ka traditional, ma'am? Dili ko ganan, Dara. Since sa una pa, Jude, ma'am? Yes. Mm -hmm. O, oh, kailangan yun nga. Ang bata, pag-abot pa lang, okay, kuanta ka ron. Oh, mga inana bitaw nga. Oh, something am um, aware sila nga nana sa ibag o oh, kay nga no dili siya pwede kay may na, si teacher karon kay istorya ra siya sa tunga nana di ba oh so mas mayo tong napog kay i-prepare nga tap uh, activity though it is in line sa ilahang lesson pero palahi ba oh karon nga ganahan sila maminaw sa imo ha um, kani mo na balik na yung question pero kani lang ma'am seven so when designing activities or strat strategies did you adhere to particular educational cures like constructivism, behaviorism, or inquiry based learning? Why and how effective were these approaches? Okay, so na magina siya si psychomotor no mm. na po na siya ang uh, effective domain ng imugit siya do katuling sa tumi isa. O basta kay tulogin na siya, no? Pero para sa ako, cognitive. o cognitive, pero para gid sa ako is, mas may good to nga, for example, kanilang speaking uh, ability, imo gina siya ang i-nurture sa si ila, ha? Kay it is impossible nga magtuo lang ka sa ilang yes, nga nakuha nila ang lesson, compared to, imo gid sila ipatindo, for example, nag-experiment, Oh, this afternoon, we learn about, for example, sa mixture, may nana, kilang lang na, ilang gihimo, learning by doing ang dating, nga, aron sila da yun nga, uh, imong ma-feel sa ilaha, nga, ang imong lesson day on that day is well taken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, number eight na tama. So, yes, sapit na. What type of activities do you conduct in your science classroom? Are they more hands-on? AC base, laboratory experiments, or com or a combination. Do you incorporate the science scientific method into your lessons? Okay, combination. Combination, kama. Oh. Okay, manipulation at the same time, uh, theory, and then if possible, they have to explore outside if the topic is or can be seen inside the school premise with the guidance of the teacher. Eh, dili pwede nga, okay, ito mo sa gawas, niya si teacher nara sa sulod. There should be, for example, sa cloud formation, something. Oh. Inana, oh, so, syempre, 
of few minutes from now, it will make another uh, shapes, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so, what happened? May nana sa bitaw ka. So, simple siya, pero ni-enjoy po sila. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. So, number nine na, ma'am. So, what innovative teaching methods or technology have you recently incorporate, incorporated into your science lesson? lessons? And what impact have they had on students' learning? Okay, using PowerPoint presentation, video lesson, and at the same time, presentation of, our, uh, of their output based on what they learn. Pero, oy, if ang students, ma'am, makakitag technology, ma'am, say, kalainan, if traditional lang, ma'am, or na imong gigamit o ka ng technology na imong gi... Diferensya kayo. Ano? Yes, o, Sila na ganyan na, for example, ikahapon, mm-hmm. sure, iyon ang projector, ana, tudluan na na ko sila. O, at times na yun nga. Sure, pwede ta mag-video, unya na kung ang atong lesson is involved anang pag-video ta. So, nage po siya ay uh, nag-impart ka og technology sulod sa yung classroom, pero with control ka kay since we know kung mag-sigira po tag-video, Unya wala po sila yung natunan, murag imposible po. So there should be nga, kanang ang pagpabideo ni mo, in line sa mong lesson, at the same time, proper guidance sa teacher, kaya wala siya ang ang technology kung without sa presence sa teacher, di ba? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Okay. So last question na ta, ma'am. So what advice would you provide to students teacher who will be teaching science in the future based on your experiences now. Okay. To all of you who are present today, yes, I am uh, very happy that you want to get or uh, hear some reminders from me. Uh, as a teacher, you should always uh, put in your mind that there is always a visitor every day. Meaning, even if you are not the scheduled demonstration teacher for that day, make sure that you are always prepared. Mm. Mm. Kay kung dili ka prepare, windang ang labas. Kay na magin na siya time nga, ah, uh, may God ang principal, ala wala ko nakag-observe kagahapon, okay, pwede nga imong leksyon karon akong observahan. There's no such word as no. Kailangan ka, yes, ma'am. Hmm. Buna yun nung tagin mo nga, be a Girl Scout every day. Okay. Mugi na kung nakuha sa kong, uh, previous na kong uh, supervisor, si Sir uh, Emiliano Rodriguez, expect visitor every day. No. Visitor who will observe your classes and monitor your classes. Ano regit siya? O dayon, ayaw tubang sa bata nga wala na ni mo siya nakitaan or nabasa ang topic. Kay lisod kay nay bata po dayon nga imong main counter nga. Teacher, what if? O kana gi mga what if, what if bitaw? O suki na lang ready po ka. Pakita gid nimo nga. The management inside the classroom is run by the teacher. O mugi na imong permanente i-focus sa imong imo ang una-una. Kay nay bata nga tungod kay technology lugar karon di ba so murag mabutang na to ang kanang nay mga grabe og internet advance pod kay na poy mga parent nga they keep track about sa learning sa ilang bata so ikaw kung luya po ka nga teacher mabihind ka so there uh, there should be a time nga imo gina siyang permanente i butang sa isip nga ikaw mo nakauna ana nga, nga updates mo mm-hmm. gid na siya imo ibutang si mo na una for me mm-hmm. oh so mo gid na kung ihatag sa inyo permanent nga make your classroom a happy place for your children ana nga murag may enjoy sila good morning teacher murag ikaw mo ilang pangitaon every day kay naa sa imo ang ilahang kuan nindot nga tawag mga um that's it and that is all. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Um, we have here a simple token lang ng for our We certito na ala ang burger. Thank you, Bitaw. Thank you, Salamat. Yes, ma'am. Okay, one, two.
So, good afternoon, sir. I am Joanne Enfrentes. And I am Mary Ellen A. Zimayla. So, we are from Taguan Community College. We are here to discuss with you with your methods and experiences in science at teaching science at Solana Elementary School. So, may we proceed May we proceed to permission to the introduce sir? Okay. So your Go first, on. first question, sir. Could you please share your name and the number of years you have been teaching science at Sulan Elementary School? Okay, um, my name is My name is Mr. Tito Makaslang Nalagon II, uh, and I and I have been teaching um, science for five years here at Sulana Elementary School. How has your teaching approach evolved over the years, especially in the context of teaching science to elementary students? Uh, yearly, my teaching approach, um, the change, yeah. Um, before, um, gagamit ko mga, mga, mga pictures, then I, I use models, then later on, technology comes, and gagamit na ko mga video lessons, then mga human torso just like this sa pag-integrate sa akong science lessons. As your experience here as a, has progressed, what strategies and techniques in teaching science do you think are effective for students? Okay, um, speaking strategies uh, used in science, um, usually I, I use the um, inquiry based approach or the inquiry based strategy uh, in this strategy um, my pupils have time on hands on or by siya na sila time nga 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 sana i manipulate ang like conducting experiment na sila time nga makuha nila ang sana siya Mga, oh, they're given time to manipulate objects para silang experiments. So, in your lesson plan, sir, which teaching approach such, such as the 5PS or 4AS did you incorporate for teaching science? And why were these methods effective? Okay. Um, in my lesson plans, uh, I use either 5Es or 4As. Okay. Um, five is, um, it, five is, I think, that is more engaged, uh, and then elaborate, then, so begin na. Engage, explore, explore, then evaluate. Okay, so, kana siya magamit, gina siya gid ang kuan, especially kanang engage. So, first, kuan sa engage is, sa five is, is engaged, so, Speaking in engage, engage na to ng mga bata sa experiment, then magamit man tag inquiry based approach. So, just like in experiment, naman tayo hypothesis. So, that's the time um, we, we have given the pupils a problem to be solved kaya na may hypothesis. Then, engage, musulod na yun ang engage dia. O ang 5Es nga method ng 4As. So, very effective yun ang 5Es and 4As in teaching Science. Hindi ko gagamit ang traditional na kanya. Um, karon di pa-adapt git sa, sa DepEd ng 5Es o 4Es na nangyong siya sa mga seminar. Ikuan nyo siya incorporate kina sa science. Okay, sir. Okay, so number five. When designing activities or strategies, did you adhere to particular educational theories like constructivism, behaviorism, or inquiry-based learning? Why? And how effective were these approaches? For me, um, both of these strategies are very effective. Effect. Um, just like inquiry-based learning, kanang mas, mas out of the three, pero all of the three theories sa educational system, mas sada ni siya ang kan, in tulo, pero paras-paras naman sila. Inquiry-based learning, kay nag-focus naman niya po ni sa problem na ilang isolve, then problem just like experiment then they are give they are they are given problem then hypothesis then so on they will do experiment then arrive at the conclusion so 
Kung yung ganun siya, kanang effective method, yung ganun siya. Okay. So, what types of activities do you conduct in your science classroom? Are they more hands-on, easy-based, laboratory experiments, or a combination? Do you incorporate the scientific method into your lessons? Okay, mostly, we do combination like hands-on, AC-based, laboratory experiments. Combination yun sila, either an entry, pagduwa naman sila, or experiment la. Then, in incorporate kina mo ang mga scientific methods kay, kay mostly sa science, mostly experiments kina sila. So, we will do the 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 methods or procedures in the experiments. What innovative teaching methods or technologies have you recently incorporated into your science lessons? And what impact have they had on student learning? Okay, um, one of the innovative teaching methods or technologies na akong na-incorporate is like um, using this ano, mga human torso. Kaya kinimod sila yun ka ng, ng realistic, then tangible, makita, then makangin mo siya dyan nga, nga makangin mo siya nga, ah, maka, ang estudyante makatuon dyan siya kay realistic dyan siya kaysa mag lang ka o niya ka ng picture lang okay. di, 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 di. so much better nga nagin mo yung mga bago na mga, pal, mga and reflecting on your early teaching years what were the common mistakes or ineffective strategies that you used when you were new here teaching science and how did you change or overcome them Okay, one of my common mistakes is kanang magtudud ka nga magang kanang ang bata kanang imo lang mag picture out na sila una una ba. So, as a teacher, you should find a way nga ang imong lesson more realistic siya. You will find a way mga indigenous materials nga makita sa palibot kini to ni muna. Oh, for example, basta kanang mga eclipse eclipse, so, ngitag pagaagi nga usa nimo pagkuan sa eclipse, di lang ka totally mag-rely sa mga video lesson. For example, sa Eclipse, pwede ka magamit ka ng mga flashlight o ka ng mga shaded object, di ba? Para makuan, ganun mo ang uh, mga realistic kid siya. Then, ang bata sa mga kuan, sa mga kuan nga, ala, inaani di ay, kaya sa ang bata nga, imo lang katuluan nga, mag-imagine lang nga, so, makakatukahan ko rin sir, di ba? O dapat, kuan, yun mo realistic. Then, for the last question, and what advice would you provide to student teachers who will be teaching science in the future based on your experiences now? Uh, ang advice lang dyan, kung magtulo mong science, experiment ka mo dyan, experiment ka mo, kada kwan, experiment, kaya mostly ang science experiment ka na siya. O dahil yun, uh, apply lang to, then inquiry-based learning approach, or ka ng mga... Inquiry based mong good ng problem solving based kaya po na siya ba. Tagalin mong problem ang bata, dahil yun, ang bata ana, mong itanak kung maagi yung so, sunayang sulba sa problema. Kung masulba na ng problema na yun, mak- na rin siya yung matunanan na. Kaya yung mga agian ng kuwan nga yun, na kuwan na, 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 niya po mabraw siya, kuwan mga ng discovery approach or inquiry, inquiry approach siya po mga tun siya. Thank you so much sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you. 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 For your uh, experience in teaching science, so may I have your permission to proceed with the interview, ma'am? Yes, you may. Good afternoon. So, ma'am. So, for the first question. So, ma'am, can you please share your name and the number of years you have been teaching science at Sulana Elementary School? Uh, I've been teaching science for three years already here in Sulana Elementary School. Your name, ma'am? Uh, my name is May Answer Na. I uh, just landed here in DepEd for three years. So reflecting on your initial experience teaching science here, could you describe the challenges you faced in terms of your level of experience? Uh, challenges? Yes, well, ma'am. right now is behavior. But then when you are teaching science, kids nowadays really amazed. Uh, ang imuha lang dira is the materials used, yes. your teaching strategies should be more igniting to them. Mura gina siya. So, 
if you are a science teacher or every subjects you should be ready and uh, materials used would be as usual updated update you can. yes so in your lessons plan which teaching approaches such as the five e's or four a's and more did you incorporate from teaching science and yes why yes dapat you should incorporate uh, uh by engagement involvement uh, enrichment, uh, evaluation, yeah. explore, everything. Na agyun na siya sa science. Uh, gina incorporate gina so namo. Yes, yeah. also sa lesson plan. Even sa other subjects also. Not just in science. Yeah. So, when designing activities or strategies, did you adhere to particular educational theories like constructivism, behaviorism, or inquiry based learning? Why and how effective were these approaches? Most uh, those theories, um, it would really vary from different kinds of multiple intelligence of the kids. So, kana siya, um, mo base dia punta sa classic classy na mga behavior sa bata, no. But kita teachers, uh, balo naman ta how to, to handle these kids. So, most of the theories you can really apply. But, yes, it's a combination. Um, what type of activities do you conduct in your science classroom? Are they more hands-on, laboratory experiments, or a combination? And do you incorporate the scientific method into your lessons? Yes, combination, uh, experimentation, uh, group, group works, and then individual activity also, paper and pencil. Uh, um, regarding learning materials, do you prefer using technology or traditional visual aids? And based on your observation, which approach do you find more effective for student engagement and understanding? Um, nowadays, technology good, and then also the realia. They are fond of that, especially pag mahawiran yun nilang isa ka thing. Though, not for example like this. Mas models. ma, yes, models. Makuha gin nila diretso pag na sila makita. Videos, mm, uh, yes, dapat makita gin nila. Di na apoy uban nga they would prefer na teacher, pwede ba nga na ay koan, kanang kami gin maghimo. So, uh, application also. How do you assess whether your students have truly grasped the lesson and activities in science? What assessment methods do you employ? Assessment, there would be group activity and paper and pencil test, and then enrichment. Okay. And when teaching science, what have you noticed about your students' reactions? Are they generally excited, bored, or perhaps apprehensive? And could you share your insights into why you think they feel this way? Uh, mostly right now, kids um, amazed din na sila ba sa science. science. Oh. Yeah. Ma, ma, whatever topic it is, ma, ano silang, ha, inana, di ay, di ay, teacher, wow, ana. So, maka, pag once, wingan sila, okay, today, let's have science. And so, may yung gusto, AP, English, teacher science. So, yeah. kay, daghan kay sila, ma-explore nga. They think nga, uh -oh, they think nga, skin lang, pero may balan nila nga, la, na pa sa ilalong, in all, inana ka, amazing. So, ma, interesting din ang science for them. And for the last question, Mom, teaching science to elementary students can be challenging. What advice would you provide for future teachers who will be teaching science at this level? Okay, so for the future teachers, no, especially say in you, uh, I would prefer and uh, you would you would also update yourself, level up. And then read more, explore, then let them engage. Do not do all the talking. Be engaged, yes, involved. engaging, involvement in everything. Let them work. Dili lang nga, ikaw lang all the time. So they then be ready. More. Yes, uh, ano good bo? Ready always. Some questions out of the box. Grabe gikay na sila. Um, they, they, oh, yes, bata. they are very curious. Sometimes questions pop up right away without even knowing it. Ma after na nila ng mga questions. So, be, be ready on that. And then, be careful also in communication, especially pareha ka ni mga parts of the body. So, masela na sila. Labi na ni gadalaga na. 
Oh, so malicious yeah. minded are there. So kita careful lang po tano sa on how to communicate with them. And then update always. Read more, explore more kay uh, ang books usahay kulang ra. You need to go beyond from the books. Use other resources. Do not just lean no, on and uh, rely on some books and all. So read more news um anything nga makuha nimo ay kana siya nga topic. Go beyond. Hey, Mom, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, thank you so much. Way to go. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, picture. Picture your One, two. One, two. Thank you, Mom.